I guess it's time for a tour video, right? Cool, let's do it. But before continuing, do you remember the video I posted like a month ago about the studio Dave? Okay, so this video is about the explanation about what happened with my place, okay? So, let's go. All right, and this is the new control room. This was my bedroom. Now my bedroom is there. And that was the control room, you know? That's where, that was when I started this YouTube channel. Now I have more new um, and more acoustic treatment. Those are bass drops. If you can go in my videos, you will see the studio tape. That was when I started building those. And I know you pretty much know what gear I use. My two lovely Capi B296, the Warm, the BWA12, two Studer EQ. This is the TK Audio, the BC1 compressor, the 501 series. This is a Lindel Audio um, compressor, the 568 compressor. You know, I use the uh, Universal Audio. I have two silver plate first generation. Eventually, I'm going to buy the what is the name? Uh, <laughs> the, the Thunderbolt car because I still use it with the Firewater with the old Mac Pro. And I'm going to buy the new Mac Mini with an M1 chip. That's the D box. That's my summing and my monitor system. Up there is my drummer 1976. You know what it is about. This is my lovely DBS160X, the C compressor. This is the BB Sony Maximizer. I made a video about this, the FMR Audio, the really nice compressor. I have to make a video about this. This is the Horror Brother. And for monitor I use, uh, it's a Sony TV. It's nothing wrong about it. I have two Yamahas, the S, no, HS, HS5, yeah, and HSS8. Had two schools, why not? I want your girl. I need your girl. She wants your girl. I have only three guitars. I have one bass, one is broken. Probably I want to buy a new one. We'll see. Two Ibanez RG series. This is a uh, Epiphone Les Paul. Nothing fancy. That works. AC. Yeah, this is very, very handy when it's um, for the summer. That's the outside. Uh, yeah, pedal train. So I edited the video, and one thing I forgot to mention about the gear I have here is these two is the Albit Artist Control. Yeah, this helped me to control the Pro Tools, you know. It's pretty much like a big mouse, but have the faders help me a lot that it's way more easy to to automate you know mix it and this is um pre sonus digima i mean digimax the eight this is like um no is uh eight channel preamp i connect this you know through the um, to the pub light or to the ADA, you know, cable, but I use it as uh, analog. So, because on the, I forgot to mention this. These two guys, I don't know if you know this particular way how the universal audio works. You have only four preamps. So it's one, two, three, and four. The rest, the rest one is like a, forget like a extra preamps, like a, I mentioned before these four guys. So to get like a 16 input, so I have four here, four here, I got the four for there. So now I use these guys as an analog of preamps. So I have four connected to the second one. So I have total of 16, so I forgot to explain that. And yeah, back to the video. And yeah, and I have now two cuts. The, the black one is Sombra or Sombrita. You know this one? Her name is Platita. Yeah, say hello. Yeah, these two are little demons. Oh, 
Oh yeah, if you are uh, curious about this, yeah, these are like uh, old flyers. When I used to work with the band called Bad in municipal way sometimes. And that's, uh, oh, that's obviously, you know, before this COVID stupid thing. Yeah, did some shows I did. I did way more, but way more, but it's only the few flyers I got. Oh yeah, that tour was amazing. That tour was crazy. Yeah, this 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 was in Texas. Uh, yeah, a client gave me this <laughs> a King Diamond scarf. Oops, there's some boobs. I guess I have to <laughs> censor that. Yeah, very handy too. Sweetwater Pro. Pro gear. Yeah, you know what this about, right? It's a, just a. So, it's a magazine about this. Ah, yeah, I forgot to tell you. So, this is a um, patch bay. Yep. This is, non, this is non, the new edition. Everything connected there. I still need two more cables. So, I have enough cable only for the record mode, but I need to make more for a mix mode. And um, yeah, that's the that's the kind of work. And everything's connected to a long, very long um, snake. Now, if you ask me, why do you use or I mean or put that cable, you know, between the um, between the walls? Is because well, I just realized I'm not very articulate the idea I try to transmit to you guys, but this is my point. Here in the US, you can make any modifications when you rent a place, and that's the reason you know the cable you know that snake you just saw there is in front of everybody because I can make holes in the walls because. Yes, I can, but I have to put it again and I do that's a lot of money in just modifications to do that because I just rented this place. So that's that's why. Okay, back to the video. This little town house, you know, is rented. <laughs> I don't have money yet to buy a place, so yeah, I still kinda of broke. But yeah, so I rented this place. Is that the reason this is supposed to be the living room and dining room because that is the main door. Let me put some light, probably that one will help. Yeah, that's supposed to be the... I mean, no, no, sorry, sorry. This is the main door. So that's go upstairs. And yeah, and like I said, this is supposed to be the, the dining room and the living room, but now this is the live room. That's a kitchen. You know, it's nothing to show there. It's just, it's just, it's just a, it's just a regular kitchen, you know. And what, what else do we have here? This is the guy. This is um, Behringer Mini amp. Yeah. This is a headphone amplifier. Those are the headphones. Um, extensions, you know, for the musicians. Yeah. Those are, those are all the cables. This is the mic stands. Cat is still there. Oh, fun stuff. Mics. Yeah, these all the mics I have. Shure set 7 b Audacity 6, AKG D112, Classic Shure SS7B, more Audix. That's the mic tech. I love this one. I have a review about this mic too. This is actually this one, one of the first I bought back in the day. This is Audio Technica. Well, I, I always forget which is the model. Ah, there it is. It's a, sorry, part of the light. Yeah, it's the 3035. Yeah. These are more mics. Classic Shure SM57. This uh, brownless mic sounds awful, but sometimes sounds cool for special things. Blue baby bottle. The cat is. Stop making noises, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, there's this is the SE electronics. That this is a S no, this is the SE5. Yeah, pretty cool for overheads. This this is the only pairs I have only. Super classic Boss Overdrive T, Maxon Overdrive, 
heavy metal. This is a clone of the what's it? Oh yeah, the boss heavy metal pedal. Very handy tuner, equalizer, DJ delay. This is a monster for bass. Yes, I love this one. This is uh, Holy Grail. This is the um, River. Noise reduction. Digitech Dead Metals. Awful pedal. Uh, I use only one time. That's it. It's very, very awful. Two DIs. Yeah. Was there some magazine? Some, some stuff there. Of course. Fun of Kiss. Fun of Maiden. And. Yeah, someone give me that, and then yeah, I just put it. I'm a big fan of uh, comics. Yeah, I like comics, but not that much. Oh yeah, this is a PV Rage 108. This little piece of shit sounds pretty cool. Depends for what I you wanna use. I have a video about this when you can ream drums. It's very interesting. Ah oh, yeah, this one is a little monster. This awful rock preamp is a PV Rock Master. This is a beast for real. So now the fun stuff. I have two Ampeg cabinet. This is a four by 10 and this is a 115, I guess that's the name. Yeah, and well, these are not mine. I will buy one for myself. This is for my friend, Kelsey. She, she plays in a super sick band called Blade Killer. So yeah, I got this for now. And I use it so far, you know, in all my recordings. I love this one, for real. This, this, this little one sounds super sick. And yes, I know you remember this. This is the Marshall, the 160, no, no, 1968. Here I have the green bag and the T75. I just made a video about this one. This is the 1960B. We have the G1265 and the green bags. Yeah. And also I have this beast. This is a mess out of the fire cabinet with being just, I mean, with being, being vintage 30. And this is the PB. Because why? Why have these two doors? Because actually, this is my PB head. And that's, actually, this was a combo, but I got it. <laughs> now I use this guy as a, a, as a regular amplifier. And yeah, those are the controls over there. And the point is, hey, it's not weird, what are you doing? And, um, and the point is, um, this is pretty much the same as the P150 first, you know, the first one back in, uh, Yeah, this is the same year. This is a 93 or 94, but this is only 60 watts. But it sounds great. And for the studio, I guess it's perfect. So yeah, I need to buy more amps. I'm thinking to buy uh, J yeah, JCM 100 Marshall, that's a classic. And also PVVTM. And uh, do a rectifier core, of course, I mean. <laughs> some lights here, some acoustic treatment. This guy become my, I mean, this guy transform in my vocal boot. I'm going to show some pictures eventually. Brought to branches of light skills! Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, man, I got start over. And yeah, this is what I have, and this is what I record. And the cut is doing this crazy stuff there. Okay, well, I hope he doesn't break anything there. <laughs> I can see it from here. What are you doing, little demon? Huh? <laughs> okay. And Platita is here. What's up, baby? She's a good cat. The other is a little demon. All right, second floor, and like I said, this is my room now. Of course, this is personal, personal space, so I will not show that. And of course, in every single suit, you have to get a bathroom, regular bathroom, nothing to see here. Yeah. And going back to the control room. And that's it for now.
So what do you think? Not bad for a pretty small townhouse, right? Yeah, just in case. I live here only myself, well, with my two cats, no roommates. And uh, one thing I want to say about this video is that uh, you don't need a huge house or a huge uh, business, you know, room or place, you know, to to run a proper recording studio. As you know, you see, this is a small town house, you know, and uh, that's the point, you know, you don't need all that for make your hobby or your passion in a legal proper business, you know, you need only a few things, a few mics, and that's it. Actually, I started with way less, trust me. I started with an old iMac, with a little M audio, you know, uh, audio interface, and that's it. Eventually, I, I start to get better, better, better. And after that, I start to record a mobile, you know, with my only with my MacBook Pro and uh, one Apollo and a few mics. That's it. Yeah, so if you really want to do this for real, do it. You don't need a huge room, like I said, you know? And I hope you like it. And then if you make it out in this point, thank you so much. And don't forget to subscribe, to like, to comment, because that's gonna help me to build, you know, this channel. And that's it, guys. Bye.